Hello friends, welcome to this video. Now in the previous video, we saw that how we can format the pivot chart. Now this is the almost the last video for this pivot table, pivot chart and slicers. In this video, we will see that suppose if I'm creating two, three pivot chart and let's say two, three pivot table, and I want to now create some slicers and the timeline, then how I can connect those slicers and timeline to all those charts in the pivot table so that when I click on one of the slicer, then it should affect all the pivot chart and all the pivot table together so that kind of effect also we have here in the Microsoft Excel so let us see further that how we can connect one slicer to 223 pivot table in the 223 pivot chart so let us start so first of all here we'll be creating one pivot table in one pivot chart or we can do one thing that we can also create two pivot table and one pivot chart so let us first of all create our first pivot table from this main table so i select one of these random cell i go to the insert tab click on the pivot table i'll go for here new worksheet i click on ok button and now we are having our first pivot table the structure is ready now let me create this pivot table so i drag here region in the row section and i take here the ship mode in the column section, I drag here the sales in the value section. So now our first pivot table is now created where we have the region, ship mode and the sum of sales. Now let me change the font here. So I go for here Arial. So now this is looking better. Now what we'll do that we will create here one slicer and one timeline. So I select this pivot table. I go to the pivot table analyze tab and now I'll create here one slicer. So I click on the insert slicer button and now I'll create a slicer for category. I click on OK button. So this is my category slicer here. And now I'll create here one timeline. So I'll go to the pivot table analyze tab. I'll click on this insert timeline. I want to create the timeline for let's say the order date. I put here the tick mark in front of order date. Click on OK button. So this is my timeline for the order date. Let me make it to quarter. So these are the two things that we have created from this pivot table that is timeline and the slicer. We can also create here two, three more slicers. Now what we'll do that we will go back to the order sheet here, our main table. And now let me create here one pivot chart. So I select one of these random cell, go to this insert tab in the insert tab. I'll click this button known as pivot chart. I click it. It will select here the main table. Now I'll go for this existing worksheet. And in the existing worksheet, I click this arrow button. And now I'll go to this sheet three and in the sheet three i'll be creating the pivot chart over here below this pivot table so this is my location for the pivot chart that is sheet three and dollar a dollar 22 i click on this down arrow button and now i come over here and now let me click the ok button so i click the ok button and as we have seen in the previous videos that whenever we are creating a pivot chart then by default a pivot table is also created so in this pivot chart i'll be dragging here suppose category i put it in the axis area and then i drag the let's say the segment i put it in the legend area and now let me drag here the profit i drag the profit i put it in the value section so now my pivot chart is created and along with that pivot chart my pivot table is also created so we have created all these things now if i select here this category slicer so let us play with it if i click on the furniture category you see that here the slicer is only affecting this particular first pivot table so it is only affecting this first pivot table but it is not affecting this another pivot table and this pivot chart so this is the issue now let me play with this timeline here let's say i go for here quarter 1 2023 till quarter 4 2024 so now only this particular pivot table is changing this below pivot table and the pivot chart is not changing so this slicer and this timeline they are connected with only this pivot table now i want to connect this timeline and this pivot slicer with this pivot table and the pivot chart so we'll select here the slicer we'll go to the slicer tab and the slicer tab we are having here the report connection so i click on the report connections here when i click on the report connection then here we have this options see currently we are in the sheet three in the sheet three we have here pivot table six and pivot table seven that is the six and seven now currently this slicer is connected with this pivot table six now i want to also connect with this pivot table seven so i can put here the tick mark and now these two tick marks are done this is our another sheet that also we can connect with this slicer but i don't want to do it now so i'm putting here these two tick marks pivot table six and pivot table seven i click on ok button now the same thing we can also do it for the timeline i can select the timeline go to the timeline tab in the timeline tab also i'm having this 
this report connections i can click on the report connections again i get the same dialog box now i also put this tick mark over here pivot table 7 and pivot table 6 was already there i click on ok button so now my both this timeline in the slicer they are connected with this two pivot table and one pivot chart so let us see over here so if i clear clear okay so now everything is fine now let me select here this furniture category so see if i select here this furniture category then you can see that this pivot table is also changing it is showing me only the data of furniture category and also here we can see the chart chart is also showing me the data only for the furniture category if i click here office supplies then this pivot table has also changed and this pivot table is also changed it is showing me the data of only office supplies and this pivot chart is also changed similarly i can also play with this timeline and in this timeline i can select here suppose quarter 1 2022 till quarter 4 2023 so whatever i do the changes over here in this timeline it is affecting this first pivot table second pivot table and the pivot chart also so friends this is how we can connect a slicer in the timeline with any amount of pivot table and pivot chart it is very very easy simply you have to click on the report connections for both the items and then we can decide so friends here i am winding up the topic of pivot table i hope that you have liked this series please watch out all the videos in this particular series and now in the next video we'll be starting with another topic of microsoft excel so see you then in the next video thank you very much